Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkoya, aka Ndinai Ja. Ja, Ja, Ja. E. Happy 2022, y'all. Happy 2022. I'm not exactly sure when you would be watching this video, but I hope to get it out to you right at the beginning of 2022. We're still in 2021 now, and I'm saying the words 2022 to just start getting used to it. So, starting new planners, I wanted to share with you guys my planner stack for 2022. Before we get into it, though, I want to show you all what I used for 2021, what worked and what didn't work. Maybe discuss a little wise. This I'll make this quick. I will begin with this one right here. This is a compendium of my of what I used in 2021 and it is a Notique cover and several different inserts. I started the year off in Notique inserts. This was my word of the year. And I used the monthly, the weekly, and the dailies. I believe at the beginning of the year, I was still in just the weeklies. I hadn't started using the monthlies or the dailies at the time. So the Notique system, as the way I was using it, I had the monthly, a Monday start, and this was dated. The weeklies and the dailies were undated. So that's how this worked. At the beginning of January, sorry, at the middle of January, I lost my job and my planning kind of went haywire a little bit. Um, things started looking up in late March and my planner system was just sort of in limbo because I wasn't sure of my of my schedule from week to week. I continued using the Notique weeklies and after a while it became the weeklies weren't enough for the number of meetings I was having. So I started using Happy Planner undated dailies and it worked because this is a disc bound system seven by nine i already had a bunch of these inserts because i like to plan daily when i'm busy or when things are just you know haywire you don't know what's going on i liked the flexibility of using any different insert with you can see all the colors here i am a colorful planner babe or planner gal whatnot I like to see different colors in my planner. It encourages me to use it and it makes me look at it because this is not something nice to look at. Though occasionally I did have spreads where I didn't do any decorating at all because it's not really about the decoration. It's about getting things done. I just needed something to look at while I was getting things done. After a while, I got back into an EC hourly because like I said, these were not enough for the number of meetings I was having and I was still doing the, and then I logged off, I call it logging off, but I got off using the Notique weekly, the undated weekly. So sort of close to the middle of the year, I switched from using the Notique undated weeklies to the Notique dailies, the Happy Planner dailies, and the EC hourly weekly planner. So that went on for a while and all the way through December of this year. This was November. But what's in here is my January through November daily, weekly, and hourly for the most part. Okay? Um, the next planner that I used is my work notebook. I used this from January to December and um, 
I can't show you guys all that's inside, but I'm not the type of person that decorates in my work planner, uh, which can make it difficult to look at. But I liked the fact that I had everything in one book. I was able to take notes. It was some form of bullet journaling for me. And because I wasn't busy for several weeks of the year, uh, I think that's why it all fit in in one place. So that was the work. That was the work planner. Um, sort of in the middle of the year when the academic year versions of the EC planners came out, that was in July, I started using the hourly from the new version. That's the 2021-2022 version. It took me a while to get into this planner, um, but I eventually got back into the swing of things and started enjoying it again. And I would put my my schedule. See, I didn't use it for the month of September. There is a reason why, and I'm about to show you. Um, but like I said, it took me a while to get back into it. And after a while, I got the hang of it again and using it along with uh, my daily. And I have this punched for my discs, as you can see. So that was that was that one. Now, for the month of September, I tried going back to my full focus planner. Um, I really thought that somehow I would be in this planner for the close to the last quarter of the year. And I started this in September and I barely used it for half of September. And part of the reason is because I was trying to use this for work, but the fact that it had these two pages was a little too much for me and I started carrying a smaller bag along with my backpack and it just wasn't working for the small bag so this is really all part of August and September and half of September this planner is undated though so it's you know still available to be used for at least a month and a month and a half it's a 90 day it's a 90 day planner but it's it's somewhat of a large size and around this time I started looking into other planners that were smaller and um, I had already decided that I was going to test out the EC the a5 planner uh, from Aaron Condren for 2022 so in addition to everything that you've seen so far, this is the rest of my 2021 planner system here. So you can see the Notique hourly, or the Notique monthly, the EC hourly, and the HP dailies. So that's what I've been using. I have January and February in here as well. And the rest of it is some hourly pages and notes. I have a whole bunch of brain dumps and notes. I was doing some budget tracking in here, um, but it didn't really work out. I also had my budget planner with inserts that I made up. And when the 2022, the budget mom budget planner was released, then I put that in here. So this, you can call this the start of my 2022 planner or planners, but this is the budget by paycheck uh, planner by the budget mom. I intend to use this for 2022. There are several inserts in here or spreads that don't quite work for me, um, but I will show you guys what I did to make it work. There are some things I will be adding to this planner. And now getting into the full 2022 um, situation. I will begin with my plum paper planner, 
which is currently in this Nautique um, half letter system. So these are discs, it's eight discs. This is a Nautique cover. I showed you guys my A5. I, I did a review on the Plum Paper Planner and showed you guys my initial setup. But this, I started this planner in December and I have a weekly planner and a daily planner in here. So this is what the weeklies look like. One huge reason I love this planner is that it has a habit tracker up at the top. Excuse me, allergies, y'all. So this planner has weekly and dailies. I have a weekly section and a daily section. I started I started both of them in December so that I could tell how I would use it. Um, the way this and this is the new hourly setup from the plum from Plum Paper. Prior to now, they only had um, they had a daily that was that used maybe half of the page this way for a to-do list and a half for a schedule, but they didn't have the hours shown here. You can choose your hours when they start and it'll just end when it ends. So this one starts at six o'clock. If I were to use this again, I mean, I'm sorry, this starts at 7 a.m. If I were to use this again, I would start from about five o'clock, five, six o'clock. Um, the columns, though, because this is an A5, the columns are pretty small. I would imagine that this would be much more useful to me if this were a 7x9 planner. Um, so I'm still considering about using this. Um, but right now it works. I'm, you know, using it to do just down and dirty stuff and minimal decoration and not anything like serious, serious. I also have some notes in here and all the way to February. So this is the, this is the, this is the 2021, 2022 transition planner. The next planner I intend to use is this EC, is this A5 EC daily planner. It's, it's two of, in one, there are two six month um, planners. That's what it looks like there. This one is the June to December. This is January through June. I'm sorry, that's July through December. This is January through June. So it's a daily planner and um, goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then you have to do's on the side. Uh, using how I decided to come back to this coil, because technically I'm not really a coil bound person, but I came back to this coil because I liked how this one worked for me. Uh, the concreteness of the system with the coil, it just, it, it got me this time. It really got me this time. And I was, I've, I've been a little on the fence because dealing with these, these ones with discs, you have to move things around if you're not keeping everything together. Like half, half of my current planner is not even planner stuff. It is all of this isn't all of these are notes, right? So most of my planner in here are notes. The rest of it are, you know, the rest of it is the planner, but most of it is notes. And every so often I have to take things out and put them somewhere else. And sometimes I would lose my pages, which is not fun because I'm trying to keep a record of my life. So I decided to test out this coil system, or this coil-based system. I don't know how long I will stay in it, if I'm being um, just fair to myself, because I'm giving myself the opportunity to change if need be. Now, I hate this little calendar here because it just it feels like a waste of valuable real estate, but that's how they do their thing. So you have the dailies, Saturday and Sunday are their own page, which works. The last time they 
um, the last daily planners that they had were not on two pages, if I'm getting that correctly. Um, I bought the very first version when this was in the binder system, and I still have the old one somewhere. My plan currently with this is to have a notepad at the back. Um, if I were to, so if I was using this for say this month, and I'm giving myself permission to use different things at different times because I know that I get bored. I'm also a colorful person, hence this being colorful. So my plan is to use a notepad to do some just weekly, just jot stuff down for stuff I want to get done during the week. And then the dailies will be here. The dailies give me an opportunity to really write out in more detail the things that I need to do. And most of it is lined. Some of it is not lined. Again. I still don't understand. At least do a dot grid or a grid. Don't just leave a blank space there, you know, but whatever. That's that's that. So I'm planning on doing that and ha possibly having this here to write up what's happening during the week and having the dailies in there as well. So that's um, daily planner number two i guess the next planner i got was this vegan leather hourly planner and this is the floor layout i think that's what it's called this is the floor layout i intend to use this planner for work this is one of the planners i intend to use for work since it is an hourly planner and I have a lot of meetings, I think I can put my meetings in here and sort of maybe use this space for notes and put my to-dos in each little portion of the planner. Now the reason I'm the reason I'm looking at switching into this is because this planner is tabbed. While I could compare it with this one, I had to sort of make this my own. So on the different months I had, let me see where I had a calendar that I can show you. So I would have the calendar in here. I told myself I was going to put um, washi tape to differentiate the months. I didn't get around to it, um, but I wouldn't need to do that here. So I've got my monthly view. I've got I've got my monthly view. I've got this dashboard page that I can use to do a lot of things. I can put special dates, I can put goals. I can I I can do I can do a lot here. Milestones and so on and so forth. Put my meetings in and then put my to-dos. So it's either going to be used for work or it's going to be used as a decorative planner. So I'm not sure just yet. We have a few notes pages at the at the back of it. Next, we have my Power Sheets goal planner. Uh, you're not going to be seeing much of this. And as of where I am right now, I almost wish I had gotten something else. Um, Kate with uh, Planner Nerd Plans had left a suggestion for me a while back saying I should consider the HB90 system. And I haven't fully looked into it, but it's, it's something I'm still considering. Next planner I have is an academic planner from Planner Nerd Plans. And this planner begins in June of 2022 I'm sorry it begins in July of 2022 and goes all the way to June of 2023 now um, Kate with planner nerd plans who I was just talking about uh, she designs planners and this is a custom hourly planner that she designed for me so I'll be testing this out in the academic half of next year. 
It's a Monday start planner on the monthly, and we have an hourly weekly. It is also disc bound, which means I can take in, I can, you know, take take out pages as as I want. And it's Monday start. The days here don't share a don't you know share a spot or whatnot in the months. Let's see if that's true for everyone because I think I forgot. Yeah, so the days don't share with the with the week before, if you know what I mean. The next set um, of books that I'll be showing you are not so much planners, uh, but are journals. I have been trying to form a journal habit for some time, and with this past year and everything that I experienced this year, uh, this past year, it was it was quite a long year, and um, even in late twenty twenty, I realized that I was I was really experiencing the symptoms of burnout. And I decided that I needed to work on journaling. I needed to work on my mental health. I currently cannot yet afford a therapist. I just have a bunch of things I'm paying for. And so I decided to journal it, journal it out. The first one I have right here is a little um, five-year journal, 365 questions for five years. And it's a thing where you answer the same question for five years. This is a very easy introduction to a journaling habit because you're answering a question. You don't have to think up what you're going to do. I've already started writing in it, which is why you see this bookmark right here. And you won't really be seeing much of this. And you won't be seeing much of the interior of this. But that's kind of why... I'd journal is a journal. The next is uh, my Hobonichi cousin. And that is, this is an A5 planner. I think by the time you guys are seeing this, you would have seen my review of the Japanese planners. And I intend to use this as a work diary. Again, I'm trying to catalog my life and trying to keep a record of things. So my plan is to use this as a work diary. We'll see how this goes. I like that we have a little more space in here. The last Japanese planner I used was a Jibun Techo A5 Slim. So the pages were slimmer than you have here. Uh, it'll still be the same thing. This will the way I'm looking at it, this will go with me um, to work and back. And this one, this one will likely stay here because I wouldn't want people to see my stickers and whatnot. And then the times I get bored of that, I would have this. So work diary just so that I can catalog my experience and things I learned because I'm in quite a fast moving or fast paced job right now. And there are just a whole bunch of things that have happened and it's, yeah, it's been, it, it's, it's been interesting. And my planner actually saved me because uh, there was something that happened and someone was trying to find information on it and said, oh no, you may have told them the wrong thing. You didn't give them the information. You didn't give XYZ person the information. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did because I recall writing it down. And I went back in in my work notebook because I sort of did a little, I would, I would take some notes, but I didn't diary in it. But there it was. I said, hey, it was around this time. I went and looked and reviewed and bada bing, bada boom. It was there. Yeah. So that was good. The next five-year journal I have is this Hobonichi Techo five-year journal. It starts in 2022 all the way to 2026. And it's a few lines and then you have some space. 
So my plan is to use this in almost the same way as this. You have a few lines each day on the same day to write whatever it is. So I believe he, um, these symbols here are the Japanese characters for the days. Like if it was a Monday or a Tuesday, I think I will write it out here because I don't know what these symbols stand for still. I can't promise that I'm going to go look it up, right? So it's pretty simple. Every, every day has a two-page spread. And it takes you from January through December of 2026. Last one I have is this EC graph paper notebook. This is my affirmations, um, affirmations notebook and diary. It is a little bit of, it is a little bit of everything. It's closer to a bullet journal diary, I guess, but it's not going to be set up or anything. This will just be, um, every day I write one line in it, at least until I move in there. And when I transition into the Techo, into the Hobonichi, this will now become my affirmations journal. So there are times when I will need to write something in that one, in the five-year one, that's a little blurb about the day. In this one, I intend to be more expansive. So it, it, I'm not looking for, I'm not expecting that it will be every single day that I write in this. Right now it has been for the past two weeks. Is it two weeks? Let's look. Let me not lie to you guys. Oh, I did start it on the 13th. Okay, cool. So yeah, I guess it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. So it's it's a it's an opportunity for me to encourage myself in words, write in long form, and get things out of my head. I'm writing scriptures that come to my mind every morning. I'm writing things to speak to myself and to speak into my life, to speak into TJ's life and things that happen just so that I can have a record. Like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm really feeling the record situation. And I think that brings me to the end of my planner discussion for 2022. I hope you've enjoyed um, reviewing this with me. How, how long do you think I will stay in each of these planners, considering what you've seen so far? What is your, what is your expectation or what are your thoughts? I'll take this off because it's too shiny. What are your expectations or your thoughts? Are you forming a journaling habit in the year 2022? Do you think this is something you would like to do? And tell me what planners you are using. What planners, what notebooks? Yeah, just feel free to share. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. And please like the video, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one. Happy 2022!